Okay, this horse has a habit of raising his head really high when you bridle him, and so I'm going to show you how to work through that. Uh, ideally, you would teach your horse to lower his head to pressure here before you start this, but he doesn't really know that very well, so, um, and maybe your horse at home doesn't know that very well, so he's probably a good candidate to show. Uh, he tries to act like he's a little bit uh, ear shy. He might be a little bit ear shy, but more than anything, he's just learned about habit, how to throw his head really high and somebody fumbling, trying to get the bridle on and not get the job done. So um, I'll rub them here, make sure. Um, if they are ear shy, you probably need to take care of that problem first before you start trying to bridle them because you know you got to fix one issue before you can work on the other. Uh, if you get one that is ear shy, then you know, grab hold their ear and rub. Notice how my elbow attached to the horse my whole entire forearm is attached to that horse if I have a horse that's going to be throwing his head around or trying to get away from me I attach all this to the horse so I can stay with him if I just come out here like this and try to grab his ear when he flicks his head away he's going to get rid of my hand when he gets rid of my hand that took the pressure off that teaches him a bad habit teaches him how to get away right so try your best to do that if you have a really tall horse then I'll actually get like a stick or something like that that will go up there with them. Say it's a big saddle bread or something. Then my stick can stay on the horse. You know, but the trick is rub that ear till he lowers his head a little bit and then take it away. If he throws his head and he acts like a, you know, a jerk, then you just stay with him until he finally re stops resisting to some degree and then take it away. Um, but they learn these habits like that by throwing their head and most people just can't stay with them. There, that was great. Uh, and so, inadvertently, people teach him bad habits. Uh, like I said, he may not love his ears being touched, uh, but he will learn to. Uh, so, same one on this side here. Now, that one's a little bit harder over here. So, if this ear was giving me trouble, I would go to the other side. But it's nothing I can't live with right now. Uh, and that's something we fix usually with our groundwork. Uh, when we lunge, we let them come to us and rest, and then we rub their ears as a reward, and they get over it pretty quickly. Uh, before we start, if you have a horse that's hard to bridle, and if you have a curb chain on your bridle, you want to take that curb chain loose. You want the least amount of obstructions as possible. And then I also will make sure that my bridle is at least four holes too long. The reason is then I don't have to struggle to get it over his ears and everything. It will, everything will go over real easy. So I'll take the horse's halter off and usually tie it around his neck. That way, he, if he tries to try to take off and run somewhere, then I might be able to hold him. Uh, I like that he lowered his head right there for that. Uh, he's only been here about a week, but he's already learning some of our habits. That being one of them. You lower your head when I take the, put the halter on and when I put the halter off. That starts creating good bridle habits. Once again, he'll only keep that habit if you practice it. All right, now see already, I haven't even tried, and he's throwing his head and raising his head and everything else, right? He has developed such a habit, he's like, ah, oh, I don't want to put this bridle on. So right now, if I try to put it on, I'm probably going to lose, aren't I? So instead, I'm going to just rub around on his mouth, and see how he raised his head? As soon as he lowered it, drop it. When they, remember, wherever he release that pressure is where he learns. So I've got to make sure I can handle his mouth first before I can ever put that piece of metal in his mouth. Uh, I'll also come over here to the side, see how he threw his head again. Stay with him until he lowered. So the trick is when he throws his head up, I stay with him. You know, my hand does not leave his head. So he didn't get anything by that. He's just going to make himself tired. So again, right there, you lowered it, take your hand away. See, have it, stay with him. little bit, we'll, we'll accept that this time. Good. So now I'll stick my finger in his mouth. Good. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, but a horse has no teeth right here. So he can't bite you. Don't be afraid to stick your finger in their mouth. And he cannot actually bite you right here. Uh, sometimes if a horse is really bad about opening his mouth, I'll even take my thumb and go higher into the roof of his mouth. Uh, but as long as you keep your finger right there, he will 
will not bite you. So, he's doing that well, but he's still got some, my approach every time he wants to raise his head, right? I want to teach him that that approach, lower, there you go. So, the trick really is repetition. Most people are like, oh, let's get the bridle on. No, we need to fix the, the habit first before we really get the bridle on. Uh, unless you're, you know, if you're a, a experienced horse person, you're not going to let this worry you. But a lot of people really struggle getting the bridle on before. So now, he's better. He needs more work. But I'm, I'm comfortable with his response now. He's lowering his head. He's relaxed. So now I'm going to take my bit. When I do, I'm going to cradle the front of it with my... Uh, middle fingers here and once I get it to his mouth I'm going to make sure it stays no matter what he does I'm not going to insert it in his mouth yet I'm just going to hold it there at the at the muzzle until he stops struggling and then I'm going to take it away so he raised his head there he took it away he took it away and believe it or not the first time we saw this horse being bridled it was a rodeo um, but the manners that when you start working on come back to this, and he's already getting better because he realizes that one, we're the leader, and two, we're fair. Uh, he says, look, I'm on video. I better be perfect, right? Okay, now, when their head gets this low, I love it. But in the horse world, whatever goes down, comes back up. So don't do this because you will have a concussion. So peek over here. I'm going to insert my finger. See how he's pulling his head away there? I'm going to stay with him. And I'm not going to try, as long as he's resisting, I will not try to put that bridle on because you're just, a, you might get the bridle on, but you created a bad habit by staying with him and teaching him that was acceptable. So you just wait it out, whether his head goes up, down, Wherever it goes, you just say, look, I'm staying with you. You might as well just relax. Um, and so as soon as it went in, I pulled up on my crown. That way, that way he, uh, you know, I, it was smooth. Some people will go like this and try to put the bit in the horse's mouth and kind of gap, and then they got pulled up, and it's like, you know, nothing's so smooth. smooth. Uh, you really want to get him all in one movement. So have your hand between his ears so as soon as it's in, he can pull up. 